should I buy the RTX? No, wait. RTX Super just came out. Hmm. As right here, back at it again with another video. I have partnered up with Galax to give you guys first in a many series of videos, uh, Galax related products. And for this one, it's gonna be a bit of a doozy. It is going to be. Ugh. Right here, this is the Galax RTX 2070 uh, Super. There is basically everything you need to know about Galax. If you game, you need a Galax graphics card. Everything is right here. And of course, this is an RTX card, which is going to be my first, meaning this is my first ray tracing card. So real quick, we're just gonna scoot that with my nails. Uh, again, this is the one-click OC RTX 2070 Super. Once you get into the, the, the insides, you get yourself that sleek black box that says here in the front. GeForce RTX. I'm gonna be upgrading my GTX 1070, which isn't really an old card, but since we did, do have this right now, it's a, it's a nice addition. So, wait, you know what? This isn't for me, this is for you guys. Turning it up 180, and then pushing it a little bit closer to you. What's happening here again? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I couldn't open it. Here. Okay, again, this is my first time opening. You saw me remove the thing, so it's fine. Okay, so remove the black foam. Get yourself the, uh, the quick start guide, I believe. Yeah, it's, it says right here, set up easy steps. You don't need that stuff. And here it is. This is the beauty card. Oh yeah, it's, it's heavy guys, it's heavy. Oh, it's beefy. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, all right. I just want to. I just want to say it first. Look at how thick that is. Like this is like a burger, dude. Like you can just take a bite out of it, and you can't even like get the you know that big chunk. Oh my gosh, this is huge. So at the top it says right here, what's your game? So perfect. So if I'm gonna mount it uh, horizontally to my rig, so I'm gonna plant it like that. Uh, beautifully, you can see what's your rig. Uh, I'm not sure if this actually lights up. We'll have to see later uh, when I install it on my PC. But on the top, you can see that they actually had a, uh, uh, a GPU shroud at the at the back. Uh, there is a huge heat uh, heat fin heat heat fin right here, like super thick. I'm not sure how thick this is, but it's basically about half of my finger. So that'll definitely uh, allow me for some uh, overclocking headroom. Big fans on the on the top, and where else? How much? Uh, how many plugs do we have to have on this monster? So for the power connectors, it is an eight by six. So let's see what else is inside the box. There is this one. I think it might be just cables and stuff. Let's see. Yep, just a couple of cables. Yo, what's up? So at the very start of this video, you saw the unboxing of the GTX, or sorry. RTX uh, 2070 Super and now as you can see this is my rig right here I'll remove the the gaming chair and we are actually rushing oh sorry about that we're actually rushing right now because as you can see the darkness outside uh, we're gonna be transferring where is it my new RTX card with this uh, with my old one which is a GTX 1070 now uh, I think this is, you know, to give a, a moment of silence for the Fallen. Not really Fallen, but will be replaced. Thank you so much for all your service, GTX 1070. But now, you will be replaced by your younger, stronger brother, RTX 2070 Super. Closing my rig. Uh, also, this is my setup right here. This is Project Eduardo. You might have seen it on my 2018 uh, PC build uh, video. But... Yeah, it has been my trusty uh, friend for all these years. Tempered glass, but it is a pain in the neck to kind of keep uh, to kind of keep clean. It's my old 1070, super dusty, but it's fine. Uh, the way to remove your pins is that when you click on this, you don't just pull it out; you wiggle it left to right, so you kind of uh, easily, you know, like slowly ease out the the pins or the connector, anyways. Makes it easier for you, rather than just like you know brute forcing your way and maybe even potentially hurting your uh, setup. 
Come on. Yes, and this is why you should always have a screwdriver that's magnetic. See that? It just attaches itself. Perfect. All right, next up is we just pull, uh, we just push out the safety lock and wiggle it out slowly but surely. Wait, let's make sure that we actually pulled everything out. Yeah, that should be it. Oh, yeah. So dusty, my dudes. But anyways, this is not the graphics card that we should be looking at. The graphics card that we should be looking at is gonna appear out of this box. So we've already seen the unboxing portion of this video. This is the installation part. Just gonna do it real, real quick. Should be easy to install this. It's a big, big boy, but should be an easy fit. Let's see. Push it in, secure it itself, and we need to screw it. The truth, we plugged it in. Okay, the thing that you have to take note is, look at the GPU underneath it. Three, two, one, bam up. Oh, look at that, underneath, it's shining. Oh, yeah, boy. That's my GPU can see that RGB glory so the thing is with other with newer GPUs right now sometimes the fans might not spin because it's not actually uh, necessary to uh, you know cool down the GPU so I think in a, a power saving way it doesn't actually spin when it's not in use but we'll have to see so if you're looking at my screen uh, right now you can check my screen as well so if you're gonna check my screen, it actually uh, has this, which is uh, basically a, I think this is like what, 1080? No, this is not 1920 by 1080. I think it's like a super stretch, like maybe the 1024 by 680, I don't know. But anyways, we have to download the, uh, the app, the app thing. Anyways, or the, not the app, the, the drivers. RTX 2070 Super Drivers. All right, so we've already uh, downloaded the thing, but I just wanted to show you something. So uh, here on my screen, I don't know if you can see it properly, but on the graphics, it actually, well, this, this 24 GM is, it's reading my monitor, but this one is the NVIDIA Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. So basically, uh, it doesn't have the software yet, right? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open the app or open the installer and that should begin our journey to getting the RTX graphics. It's already installing there, guys. Uh, it's not changing though, but I think I have to reopen it. Uh, here, reopen it. I'll double check it on both the both softwares. So you can check this out. This is Specky uh, right there. And you can check this out. Go here. There you go. RTX 2070 Super. Hey yo, we got it rolling. And if you check on DX Diag, which is a diagnostic tool, it will oh sorry, that's not this one. There you go. RTX 2070 Super. It's already there. Is the Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm actually checking if the fans are spinning and now you can see that they are actually spinning. So I think once the driver uh, already was installed, it immediately knew that that is the, uh, the GPU. It started, it started to make it work. Hand download the software. Where is that one-click OC? Uh, Galax one-click OC software. There you go. I think Galax has their own software for that. So let's see if we can download like a quick software for it. Oh, here. Yeah, the Tuner Plus. There you go. So I don't have to use Afterburner. So anyways, this one is showing, that is pretty low. So let's just one click OC apply. There you go, and apply. Hardware settings applied, should boost it up in performance. I will play with this a bit more, but yeah. So I'm just gonna go and auto everything because it makes, just makes everything easier. Let's go and test out the game real quick. I'm gonna pop out Origin and uh, put out Apex Legends because that's pretty, I would say Apex Legends is a sort of demanding game if you push it to its limits. All right, so you can see it, 
Pathfinder uh, doesn't look, I mean, he looks pretty detailed, honestly. Um, to go to the loadout or legends and look, check, it, check out Pathfinder, he's pretty detailed, looks nice, but let's see if we can boost that. So the settings that I use for video is that my V-Sync is down, of course, nobody will use V-Sync anyways. Uh, Anti-aliasing is off, we can try going to on and then, oh, do we go for the insane? All right, we're not streaming at the moment, so let's try. We go for high, we go for everything. <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid, but let's see. All right, bam. He actually, all right. So a while ago, he was looking pretty sharp on the edges, but now he feels a little bit more detailed, a little bit more realistic. And we'll just pop into a game. I'm moving around my monitor. Um, this is just really how Apex is. There's like a little bit of that. Um, it doesn't feel as crisp as if you would play CSGO, but as you can see the graphics, it just looks super nice. I'm just gonna drop down maybe over here and just see uh, my surroundings. And even look at this, even just the outsides, you can see a lot of detail already. It's not super blurred uh, like before, but again, this is a battle royale map. So uh, it's not super big of a map anyways. So you can just like, you know, Oh, 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 okay, okay, hang on, hang on, open up. Okay, look at that, super smooth. We got a Mozambique, ugh, Mozambique. All right, look at that fluidity, guys. Are you seeing this? Oh my gosh. Oh, RTX, hello. Oh my gosh, okay, I can definitely get used to this. It's inside. Oh no! Just don't look at my face. <laughs> but anyways, you can see that it was super duper smooth even at the highest settings. I know that uh, maybe Apex might not be the most demanding title, but for someone like me who plays FPS a lot and uh, barely, not really triple, any AAA games. There you go, RTX 2070 Super, playing on Apex Legends with the highest graphics, and it just looks beautiful. Not super sharp, not super uh, smooth on the edges, just perfect at the highest settings. Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for... My legs are actually cramping up. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next video.